Uh, I guess we gotta go up on the roof. I don't care. You're gonna you're gonna have to tough it up because you can't shoot worth a shit. I'm blaming I'm blaming my potato aim on my my poor sprained leg. What a nice guy I am. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 20. I'm an old guy gaming, and I am sitting here in my chair in my office, uh, waiting to hear back from my my COVID test. <laughs> I went out and got it this morning, and uh, I get it from uh, my hospital here in town, and they're usually pretty quick. So hopefully I'll know by this evening or by tomorrow morning at the latest. Uh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and get started uh, with this quest. This is a Retrieve the Supplies, um, and it's a Tier 3 quest. I believe, let's see, what did we do? In the last episode, we did a Tier 3, and it didn't go so well for us. Um, but we ended up with some good loot nonetheless. And we also did our first nighttime quest, too, which was pretty cool. So, anyway, let's get started with this. And ho Oh, nice. Hopefully, um, won't be hacking and sneezing and sniffling too much. Oh, man, I'm so tired of this damn cold, you guys. It sucks so bad. Okay, looks like we have to go up that way. This just goes back out here. Um, I can't say off the top of my head if I recognize this place. Uh, maybe I do, maybe I don't. It looks, it does look sort of kind of familiar. Let's go over here. And see what's in here. All right, a uh, reduced chance to be lit on fire by 25%. That's uh, useful, very useful. I guess I'll grab that. I should be, I should still be grabbing cobble because I am gonna still, oh shit. I am gonna still be needing it for upgrading. Will you die please? Die, there you go, okay. Um, Have I done this house before? I'm, I probably have. Just like I said, I don't, I don't recognize it. See, all my zombos are ferals now. That's partly, because, probably because we are in the snow biome. All right, let's grab this cobble since we're gonna start grabbing it again. Um, and let's grab this cobble too. And there is some cement down here. Okay, so they want us to go out that direction. Oh, we could get a preemptive off of Jiggly there. Or on Jiggly. Um, really? It doesn't go through barbed wire? Can we jump up here? Whoopsie. I sure love this compound grasbow, man. It is just a beast. What did this sucker do for damage? 120 damage per shot. That is just outrageous. And I only have, like, I think one point in, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, a, uh, archery. Yeah, I have one point in archery, yeah. This is amazing. Okay, let's go out this way. And into this room. Got a doorway there. Uh, there's a bunch of landmines down that way. Oh, there's another opportunity for a preemptive. Say goodnight, Ronald McDonald. He said goodnight. In case you guys missed it, he did. He actually did. Uh, okay. Let's go see what's going on in here. How the hell did I get infected or... Oh, that was from yesterday's... Yeah, it's going down. Okay, that was from yesterday's thing. Another feral. Oh, well. <laughs> we don't need that door. We don't need that door. Alright, let's check behind here. And, ah, oh, you know what? Damn it. I... I, did, I still don't have my wrench with me. I still have it left back at the base. So, yeah, I guess we won't be wrenching anything in here for now. Back out onto the roof again. All right. 
Uh, we got Larry the Lumberjack there. And possibly somebody in that closet. This is a retrieve the supply, so I don't technically have to kill him, but, you know, principle and all that, right? We will kill him on principle. Oh, he's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. What the hell? Oh. All right. I guess we're going down here. He dead now. Uh, all right. We'll just go back up the way we came. Right now it's, uh, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Right now I'm, I'm only have one point in it, so it's fairly weak sauce, but this weapon does 76.9, which isn't too bad. You know, it's just an orange weapon, so. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, there you go. That works. Where did you guys all come from? All right, here, have some more explosions. There we go. They must have come from down below, I'm guessing. All right, let's go back this way. Back out this way. And into here. So there's probably somebody in here. Or not. Or not. Um, I will take those two things. In fact... <coughs> um, why don't we take this now and then chase it with this and get rid of that. Okay. Upsy daisy. Let's get ready for vultures. Oh shit! That scared the hell out of me, man. It is chilly out. Let's put our beanie on. We won't have our, our headlamp now, but at least we won't be red cold. Can handle being yellow cold. We just don't want to be red cold. Red cold's bad news. Okay, there's something in here. Just a trash. All right. Drop down, get rushed. Jeez Louise. Do we really have to do this? Um, I'm trying to look and see. I guess if we run into that corner and we'll get this guy ready. Oh. Okay. Let's put this back on. Maybe not. Okay. Ooh, nice. Very nice. And we will put that to use for sure. Absolutely. I have one of, I already have one of those that we found, but now that we can make them, we're going to make them for every piece of armor we have, and then we should be good. Is that where everybody came through and got blowed up earlier? Oh, no, it was on this side. Okay. All right, let's see. I don't really want that jar. I'll take that one and drink it. <laughs> and let's just drink the third one, because why not? I've got... I don't know. Probably 500 empty jars that I've made in the forge back at the base. And we have snow, right? So we have an unlimited supply of water. So it's just no, makes no sense to carry that around in my inventory when I'm questing. No sense whatsoever. All right, here we go. So there's a stairwell going down below. Nobody in here. There's probably somebody in there. Oh man, <laughs> that was so far off. It didn't even hit the thing. It's a jiggly. In a moment, it's going to be a dead jiggly. Awesome. Okay. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and check behind these things. I don't care about any of that. We'll look in here. Okay, that just goes down below. We will go down there later, but I want to get the top floor cleared first. Oh, well, look at this. There you go, buddy. Put you out of my misery. 
Uh, I guess we'll grab that. Oh, I didn't put you out of my misery. And now I've put you out of my misery. Oh, we got stairs going up, too. Oh, no, we just came down the stairs. Sorry. I'm a little bit distracted right now. I actually just got a text from my son asking how I was doing, so I had to respond to him. Uh. All right. Let's get our crossbow out of there. Okay. Guess nobody in this immediate area, so let's check the normal stuff. Um, we're going to have to just break this because I don't have my wrench with me. I think I would... The last time I was actually in this house, there was a crap ton of safes in here, but there isn't, isn't this time around. All right. Let's close that door. Satchel's right here. All right. We're done with the quest, but let's keep moving through the house so we can get the loots and stuff. Yeah, definitely no safes in this place now. Oh, did you see that? I opened the door and... For just a split second, it shows the outline of a zombo in there. That is weird, man. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Edgar. We saw your outline, Edgar. All right, say goodnight. Oh, man, this crossbow. Have I mentioned to you guys how much I love this crossbow? I mean, you know, consider the damage it's doing now with, with one point in archery. If I max that out... It'd just be a beast. Probably almost a guaranteed one-shot kill on everything except for maybe the toughest zombos in the game. Maybe we will max out archery at some point. I don't know. We'll see. The thing about maxing out archery is we need to max out agility, and there would be other good reasons to do that, uh, like pistols, for example. So it might happen, man. It might happen. We'll see how things go. Come on, Beanie Mod. It's not a beanie mod. That is that worth selling? Oh yeah, that is definitely worth selling. All right, we'll sell it. No safes. All right, here we go again. Let's get uh, little friend ready here, and stay in the corner. Nobody. All right. Hey, do I see a dog over there? Uh. Can't tell. No, those are those are spikes. They they kind of look like a dog's legs. Take the spring. Take the plastic. At some point, we'll be making steel crossbow bolts, so we're gonna need lots of plastic for that. I'll well, take that. Crazy zombies outside, man. Okay, let's bust through here. I'm sure we're gonna get a rush of zombos here pretty soon. Can I put a thing down here? Alright. I have a feeling they're gonna break through the wall and drop down on our head. If they do, I guess we'll deal with them at the time. Okay, let's get this guy ready. 94 rounds in the chamber, and I don't even have a drum magazine mod on this thing. It's amazing. All right. Let's look in here. Ooh, yeah, I want that. I like the black dye, man. That's good stuff. I can't take that apart, though. All right. Are we talking one zombo? Yeah, just one stupid feral zombie. Alright, because we might get company from here, let's block that door. And 
and uh, shovel this. Some blue dye. One of you guys asked me in the comments why I'm not scrapping the dye. That's and my response is well because I want to use it. <laughs> I want to make stuff more colorful. I I probably will end up scrapping it. Some of it, though, because, I mean, you only really need so much, you know. Um, but paint, unless they've changed something in Alpha 20, paint's not that hard to make, though, either. I just wish we could stack the die. There's no logical reason in that I can think of um, for why we can't s stack it. You know what? I think I am going to scrap that. And I'm going to scrap this, and that'll give us a little bit of paint. Uh, I want to keep the blue dye, though. Black and blue dye are my two favorite colors in, the, in this game. Red's kind of Red and green's cool, too, but it just depends upon what you put it on. All right. I feel a serious ambush coming on here. I mean a serious ambush. Um, so what we're going to do is... Get rid of that. Um, is there a doorway there? Okay, so there is a doorway there. Let's see if we can get to it and close it. Okay, we're good. For this room, that is. Uh, yeah, let's scrap the red die. That's fine. Anything up there? Nope. Is this... This is lootable. Not over here. Uh-uh. Nope. Ambush. Oh, that's... That's the stairwell going back up into the kitchen, isn't it? I think it is. So where's all the Zeekers? Other than the ones that are coming down from up above. Maybe we've... We must have already aggroed them. Maybe it's all those zombos that came upstairs at the beginning and we blew them up. I bet you that's what it is because there are not really any zombies down here. Get rid of that, get rid of that, drink this. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Yeah, and I think we'll keep the rest of those things. I'm keeping the chrysanthemum because I'm in the frickin' uh, snow biome, so they're not so easy to get. How many of you are there? Just you two? Oh. Will you die? Thank you. Okay, let's get the fat loots. Car parts box. All right, we'll take all that. Passing gas box. I need the motorcycle handlebars or the schematic. Uh, okay, out of room. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, here, let's... Uh, here, I could actually stand to take a bandage, so let's take one, and then we'll put that in our hand. All right, let's go offload since the bike's right up here, and then we'll come back and get the rest of it. Yeah, how about if we open the door? <laughs> Not necessary. I'm at the point now, too, where if I get encumbered, I can still move fast enough to where... I don't really need steroids. So yeah, it's a nice, nice place to be. Okay, ammo pile. A gun a weapons bag. Got some parts in it. How about a beanie mod? That's not a beanie mod, but... Is 
a thing. So, oh, yeah, we're going to have to repair some stuff, aren't we? Um, let's do that right now because these are like completely broken. Uh, repair. And then we will put those on there and then I'll make the insulator mods for the, for the other slot later. Okay, I think that's it for everything except for the fat loots, right? Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. Sounds like we got somebody's attention. Uh, he's over on that side. All right, let's go back and do our turn in, and then uh, we're going to take a night quest, and we'll do that next. You were a zombie. Right. I'll shake your hand, but I bet you got this. Um. You smell. This is probably what we'll take. I've got plenty of these back at the base. We'll just turn right around and sell this to him. All right, now I want to do this restore power. Why are all the damn restore power ones so far away? I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's do this one because there's Listen no way. Up, jackass, you won't work? Then show some respect. There's no way we're gonna get another one in. All right. You're not working with me. You're working. Oh, some things I don't even I'm going know to why repair I this. Open the doors. Oh, you know what, too, guys? I heard... I heard that... It isn't worth it to put mods on anything... Um, that isn't a level 5 or 6 item. Um, I haven't confirmed that myself... To see if that's really actually true. Uh, but it, it kind of seems like it probably is. So, yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have heard or know for a fact that that is true uh, because I'd be curious to to see what you guys think but yeah I've, I, I basically heard that if it's if you ha it has to be a level 5 or level 6 to make it worth it to put a mod oh, on it damn so it yeah let me know you what you guys think about that okay well I'm going to go back to the base do a couple things there get a little some more inventory organized that sort of thing and then I will meet you guys at the quest location which is where is it it is way back over here again. Okay. Um, at some point tonight, and we will we will do that quest. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. We are ready to do our nighttime quest here. Um, so this is just going to be another restore the generator thing. Hey, where are you going? Just kind of clearing the zombies that are in the immediate area because otherwise they're just going to harass us. Uh, we have some guy down the road here. Oh, shit. We have someone right there that's not down the road. Okay. We got his attention, too. Man, that feral sense goes out a long way. I think it's a I think that's maybe something that can be adjusted like in a configuration file, but I just set it to whatever the, the GUI sets it to when I first started this series. All right. I think that should be everything that's really close by. No, I hear something breaking over here. Is it just you two? No, someone's coming from over here too. All right. You know what? If we just use the shotgun, that's going to get everybody's attention nearby. And that'll do a, a nice clean sweep of the area for us. Let's just keep our back against the, the wall here. Oh, is this Bell's Bakery? I think it is. But it looks like it's been added to, um, you know, to some other structures too. Didn't I just kill you? Man, we really riled up some Zeeks, didn't we? All 
All right, let's just wait a little bit longer for this group to break out. Um, and there's enough of them, I think, to warrant one of these. We got 2,700 XP for that. All right, anybody else coming? Got a puppy here. Oh, shit. All right. I think we've done a reasonably good job of clearing the zombos in this immediate vicinity. I heard more footsteps over there. Okay, let's do this. This quest can be started between 22 and... One. Oh, you got... Oh, shit. I didn't know that. You have to start it by 1 a.m. All right, let's just... um. We're going to cancel this quest. Um, Wait, what am I doing? We're going to cancel this quest. I'll just take another nighttime quest later. But let's at least go through the build and get the fat loots and see how they've um, done it. So... There we go. All right. So... In the, in the old version of the building, the fat loots were actually all in there, but we'll go through the, we'll just run through the path really quick just so we can see how it is now. Because neither one of these POIs are very large in terms of, you know, a lot of area that we have to cover. Good God. She's like standing right in front of me. And I keep missing her. It's like, what the hell? All right. It's because she's so jiggly, that's why. Oh, don't give me that bullshit. I don't care if you have a sprained leg. Just tough shit. Okay. Uh, I guess we got to go up on the roof. I don't care. You're gonna, you're gonna have to tough it up because you can't shoot with a shit. I'm blaming, I'm blaming my potato aim on my, my poor sprained leg. What a nice guy I am. Okay. All right, we'll walk. For goodness sakes. Ammo pile. Off with yo head. Oh, we got a, a backpack in here. Nice. Okay, dropping down here. We're going to get this thing ready. Ow, that hurt. A bunch of yahoos down there. Got 800 XP for that. But the stairway blocked some of it. Oh shit, that's a dire wolf. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Over here. Can you get over here? Twenty-three hundred and fifty points. And the wolf's still alive. That's funny. Okay, he did now. Oh, I did switch back over to the the Desert Vulture. Um, with it modded, it does damn near the same damage that the revolver did, but it's semi-automatic and it's got um, you know, quite a few more rounds in the chamber, so we're gonna support the Desert Vulture. Alright, I still hear panting outside like either from a dog or a wolf. Am I supposed to go this way? Check the purse. Oh, no, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. I was going to check it to see if I could loot it. That was not smart. Okay. Um, let's take another bandage. We're kind of banged up here. <laughs> Alright, we'll 
go through here. Don't really care about that. Some beverages. I'd like to get another Mega Crush. Oh, you know what I was, I was thinking I need to do? Is I need to uh, either go back to my original base and get my bicycle that's there, which I probably should do considering how, um, you know, acid's kind of hard to come by. And we're going to need it for other stuff. Or make a new bicycle so, you know, if I die again. No, let me rephrase that. When I die again, um, <laughs> I can use the bicycle to get back instead of having to run on foot. All right, so it looks like they do still have the fat loots in this room. Let's check all this stuff real quick. Oh, no, wait, they don't. They've got the generator that you got to do the power with, but they don't have the fat loots. Okay. All right, let's just ditch a couple things here. Don't want that, don't want that, don't want that. Uh, we're going to eat this, and we're going to eat this. Don't want that. We'll drink that. And let's also drink that. I don't have any cloth on me to turn this into a bandage. Uh, let's see. Where's some cloth? Maybe over here with the couches. I think these are the ones that give leather, though. Yeah, that gives leather. Uh, okay. Well, let's just carry on. I really wish they had something in this game that you could use to, uh, deal with, um... Oh. Wait a minute. Is that it? Where's the... How do you get to the good loot? There's a dog out there. How are you supposed to get to the good loot? In this place. Or did I miss it? What the hell's going on here, man? I mean, this is the room it used to be in. <laughs> oh, I wonder if it disappeared because I canceled the quest or something. I don't know. Ah. That sucks. I'm going to say probably so because I thought maybe these two were connected, but I don't really see. I'm not seeing that. I think this is just its own POI. Oh, balls. All right. Well, let's um, let's pop into this room uh, again. The older version of this. POI, oh, the loots were right in there, but who knows if they are now. We'll see. There's another Ginny. Construction site box. Huh. <laughs> nope. Apparently the pawn shop doesn't keep its loot back here anymore either. I got the attention of some Zikaroos. Where are they all coming from? You gonna come up the ladder, homie? All right, he's dead. I think that's only one Zeke there. All right, let's put um that there just to discourage anything from down below coming up here. And it sounds like we got a spider and a. Another zombo in there. Oh, look at all you guys. Alright, hold still. 
Stay right where you are. Oh. They're dead. Put that back there. Jiggly. All right, where's the spider at? I don't know. Oh, quit your belly aching. Let's just break in through here, I guess. Spider must be down below. Oh. Did somebody just break this off of here? I don't think she's fully dead yet. Now she's fully dead. Oh, there's a bag down there. spider I just don't see one they're a rattlesnake too so I'm just trying to find some fat loots that's all I'm trying to do here oh shit is she dead? I think so. <laughs> All right, you know what? Here, guys, I got something for you. How did that not kill them? Yeah, they definitely fixed it to where explosives don't uh, go through walls anymore, which is the way it really should be. You know, I I don't disapprove of that change. Not that the fun pimps give a shit whether I approve of it or not, but you know what I mean. Alright, here. Here, have a pick. I want to get this loot back. Because we went to a lot of trouble today, and we haven't even come across any fat loots, man. Let's, let's keep that there for now. Though they do seem to be a little bit able to do a little bit better job of busting those now when they're on top of a ladder. I hear a dog. This place is a lot different than it used to be up here. Where's that puppy at? You down here? Oh shit, there's a snake! Is that snake bigger than it used to be or is it just my imagination? All right, let's get some some snake fillets here. Have a shotgun, dog. Man, that snake looks bigger than it used to be. All right, what's down here? This is the pawn shop proper. Ouch. See, I know I'm leaving a bunch of loot and stuff behind, but I'm... Oh, here we go, fat loots. I just wanted to get to some fat loots, so this whole trip out here was not a complete and total waste, from a loot standpoint. Okay, we still have some Zeekers around somewhere, but let's go ahead and do some looting. Alright, that we're going to scrap for military armor parts. This is a Mo Power Box. Uh, that's probably worth selling. Okay, crack a book. There we go. And Shamway. Okay. Let's open the chest up here. <laughs> Come on, you bastard.
There we go. Nice. Very nice. Um, uh, the stopping point there, though, is going to be potatoes and corn, you know, until we get something going garden-wise. But still, maybe I should start looking at the, the vendor for that sort of thing. Um, we are... See, we still have five minutes on our spring. I think I'm going to wait until this wears off. That'll give us a little bit of health cap back, and then we're going to throw this guy back just to get our health back. All right, let's check this gun rack. That is all it has. That's kind of disappointing. All right. Well, I mean, not the best loot we've had to date, but I don't know what that just turned on, but it worked, I guess. We don't have any points in handguns yet, so it's kind of weak sauce. I'm using it because it's fun, not because it's the most, the smartest weapon I should be using right now. So there you go. Right. Oh, is that where the Spidey is? Come on down, bruh. There you go. You ugly. Okay, let's pop this now. All right, now we just need to get the hell out of here. I don't know what this button here opened. It just so comes into here. Such a pain in the ass to have a sprained leg in this game. Or actually, it's kind of more like a pain in the leg, but you guys know what I mean. Well, I don't see any real easy way to break out of here. Uh, how strong is this? Oh, that's only 3,000 hit points. We'll break out right here. All right, you guys. Well, um, that is it for this episode. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to do some, some editing, but this is going to be a long episode. <laughs> but I didn't want to leave, you know, without at least finding some end loot for us, uh, which we did, so... There you go. Uh, so I'm going to let you guys go here, and then it's it's 8 o'clock in the morning, so most likely what we'll do is we'll go back to the trader, get a new normal daytime quest, and then we'll start the next episode um, from there. Nice. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video, and we'll catch you in uh, the next episode. Let's make a bandage out of this. See ya.